Hello, amazing international women. This is Thomas Johnson III, and let's get right into your work reading for the week of October 4th to October 10th. So we're gonna have three possible opportun learning opportunities coming up for you. And these come up in the form of different kinds of behaviors when we're stressed out, overwhelmed, or confused. And let's go ahead and take a look at what those are going to be. So coming up in work, we got the stickler. This is the perfectionist. So what's happening? It's starting to happen now and it's gonna come into fruition next week with work. So boss, someone watching this video has a boss who's a perfectionist, always saying, make this better, make this better, make this better. And this is the source of the frustration. Okay, so there's someone here and someone else watching is a, tends to be a perfectionist when it's time to hand in a relatively important task. So some tasks are small and this person lets it slide. Oh, it's okay, it's good enough. However, when it comes to like the important tasks that seem important for the job, the perfectionist comes out and it gets so stressful because it never seems good enough. Uh, so there's one learning opportunity. What else is going on? The avoider, oh, completely ties in with it. So the message I'm getting is the boss is being avoided at all costs. <laughs> there's kind of this looking around the office and or if we're going from home it's almost like the boss is there even though you're not in the same physical space together and it's causing this tension like avoiding the this the picture the image of the boss and at the same time someone in here is avoiding putting in that uh that handing in that project or, or finishing that task there we go and so that's the learning opportunity you can recognize this when it happens and last is the hyper rational. So this is the behavior. Once again, this is behavior. It is not you. It's a tendency probably learned from parents or other coworkers, just things that were observed and imprinted on our own behavior. The hyper rational basically as this kind of stress is happening, the hyper rational will literally cut off the awareness of that stress. stress. Stress is usually kind of a feeling of, it's kind of like angst and tension and a little fear like, it's not good enough. And the hyper rational cuts this off and says, nope, there's a perfectly logical explanation for this. There is a point which equals perfection. We simply get there and then we'll be okay then. I'll be happy when it's perfect. And this is how it's being justified. Now, this is an opportunity to become aware of those behaviors. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? What can you do about it? This is where uh, the natural powers, they're called the sage powers. These are the cards. The sage, the part of us that is wise, knows the answers, knows what's to do. And let's find out what's coming up. Okay, awesome. We have, first, we have the navigate power. Navigate power, I'll give the short version of this. It's an actual exercise to unlock the answer that's already inside you. So starting, as you're watching this video, this, this, uh, this uh, needing to be perfect and this feeling to avoid whatever's going on, uh, it's, it's kind of taking up most of the attention. So what we want to do is, well, let's find a way to find, you know, move that uh, behavior to the side for a second and find and navigate within ourselves. What's the answer? What's the solution for this current learning opportunity? What can we learn? So it's closing your eyes, putting your hands on your heart, smiling, <sighs> and Imagine there's a timeline that represents all your past experiences and future ones. And if you were to look to the past, where would you look? If you were to look to the future, where would you look? And then notice 
how that forms a line. For some of us, it's in front of us from left to right. And from some of us, it's from front to back going through the body. Look out over the future and float up and keep floating over the future. Looking for the version of you that has the answer. There it is. And float down into the timeline and look at yourself that's smiling, full of love and peace and, uh, and calm at these. And look in their eyes and ask the question, knowing what I know with this situation that's going on right now at work, what would I have already done to easily and effortlessly finish this task? There's the answer, you got it, you got it. Ah, smile, put your hands on your heart and say, thank you. Now float back up, come back to the present and down into the room. Okay, so you have your answer. You were given the solution. Which you might even be going, oh my God, I actually had that answer before and I completely forgot about it. I got so distracted by needing to make this thing perfect and avoiding stuff. So. What I'm getting here is you have the answer and it's saying to innovate. So you have your answer. And for someone watching this, there needs, needs to get a little creative with how to finish this task. That's the message I'm getting. So there's, there's a certain way to finish this job. There's different ways. And the how it's been done until now is the, the hitting the wall point. That's where the stress is coming up. And it's saying, how can you be create more creative? One suggestion is, actually, I have lots of suggestions. I'll clarify to see what works best for the viewer. So how to be creative, how to be creative, what works best for the per people watching this video? Learn. So, oh, I'm getting ask around the people you work with, find out like, Actually, there's probably someone who actually is pretty creative and they're known for being creative in the work environment or the work you're involved with. So what I'm getting is go ask them how they develop creative or new ways to complete a task. That's one way to do it. I'm getting the message to do another one. Social media. Oh, something with the current project involves leveraging social media. And that actually lines up with the answer you got from when we did the navigate power and ask, ask yourself who has it. So yeah, I can leave it there. Last but not least is the activate power. This is actually taking the action. Now, even though we know what's happening with our behavior, stressed out, stressed out, distracted. Oh, okay, we navigated, we got the answer. Okay, let's be creative. Here's a couple of concrete ways to do it. Go ask someone I know and leverage social media, which is actually part of the answer I got. Even though we know these things, they have been heard. They have entered, <laughs> bump the mic, they've entered the ears. We still feel like this kind of mm, mm, apprehension or resistance to do it. The activate power is a way to overcome that resistance and do what you're going to do. So. Go ahead, close your eyes and imagine a time in the past when you had the boss kind of hovering around you or when you needed to finish some project and you were worried about it not being perfect enough. And right, right before that worry or looking over the shoulder came out, stop the movie and look for the thought. What's the thought? Oh, there it is, there it is. You have the thought and look at it, literally, raise your head, like I'm raising my head and go, there you are, I see what you're doing. Thanks for protecting me. I don't need you at this moment. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then imagine taking that step, this creative step or whatever answer you got in the navigate power and you've finished it. Oh, open the eyes. Okay, now in your mind, you've already done this and you can do it again. And what I'm getting is, this is very good for your health. So this, this stress that's been building up is kind of maybe causing some tension in the shoulders and 
tension in the body typically is correlated with less healthy. So this is affecting the health. And by taking the action, it's like that, you know, when you're worried about something or you're waiting for someone to call you or for the results of anything, whether whatever it is, and you get it, then you're like, oh my God, ah. So that's the, that's the feeling of when we're kind of tensed up about something and we find out what's, uh, we found out the result and we let it out. And hobbies, oh, this comes up quite a bit. So for, let's see message here. Before you go through this whole process, um, so if you did with this video, you already have your answer, you know what to do. Take some time to go do one of your hobbies. Uh, this is quite common with work. We get wrapped up in work, we focus on it, and then the family happens, and then other things happen, and blah, and then we forget that we have our own hobby that we actually love to do. So the message I'm getting is, go do that hobby, and then after you've had some fun, then go do the work thing, which is presented here today. Okay, this is uh, Thomas Johnson III, and see you in the next video.